everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey girlies so today's video i mentioned it in my last one from yesterday so if you haven't checked out that video make sure you do but i told you guys that i was going to be speaking about some stuff that popped up in my life so in this chit chat get ready with me i'm not going to so much be focusing on like oh like you know this this product that i'm using today like i'm just going to be rambling and talking like i've been doing this on my channel since i was 15. this has always been an outlet for me my youtube channel is my safe place i feel safe talking to you guys about stuff in my life that happens and i know a couple of people on twitter were like oh like do you ever feel like you're oversharing do you ever feel like you're putting too much of your business out there but when i talk to you guys like like i said not only is it like therapeutic for me but it also like i don't feel like i'm talking to strangers you know what I mean I feel like we have like our own little like community on here so it's not like oh I'm just like putting everything out there if that makes sense so today we're going to be talking about quite a few different things so I hope you got a snack ready maybe you're going to be doing your makeup at the same time um, but unfortunately it's not so much like positive stuff and I, I'm not a Debbie Downer I'm not somebody who like dwells on negativity I see my neighbor in the backyard I'm not somebody who, you know, likes to focus on the negative, but unfortunately, you know, sometimes in life things ha- nice, I just put primer all over my hair. Um, sometimes in life, you know, I'm not saying I got dealt a bad card because not at all, I'm very grateful for everything that I have and I know that everything that I go through is going to make me stronger at the end of the day, so I try not to like dwell on the negativity, but at the same time, it's just like when everything is going so right, it just seems like there always has to be something that goes wrong. And I just kind of want to talk about it. Um, but if you didn't know, if you're just coming back to my channel out of the blue and you're like, what is this girl talking about maternity? Um, I'm five months pregnant. Hi. <laughs> so I want to start off by saying that the baby is safe. I don't want to, you know, drag it on through the video on some like weird maliciousness of, or not maliciousness but i just hate when people like imply like you know what i mean like i'm not trying to like imply that something is wrong with the baby um when in reality it's actually something wrong with me i am out of my favorite foundation that makes me so sad so we're gonna have to use some covergirl today which is not even that bad to be honest this is like my second favorite one but this brand is like my all-time all-time favorite so let's go ahead and just get straight into the health stuff because honestly like i don't want people to you know go through like you know they have to wait like 15 minutes into the video on some dramatic shit you know to give you guys a little bit of background on my health i'm a fairly healthy person but of course there are like some things that you know can be hereditary and you know sometimes they're out of your control so I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning this in the past. I first had surgery at 16 years old and then I had surgery for this again at 18 years old. I'm pretty sure I talked about it on my YouTube channel um, when I was younger because I, I can actually remember myself wearing this like plaid shirt and like coming out of surgery and I'm gonna have to like wash my hair. <laughs> and by the way, like if I seem like, oh, like she doesn't seem that sad, I'm trying not to cry. I'm doing my makeup. Um, I don't wanna like cry or assume that, you know, this is all going to go in the worst way possible. So back to what I was saying, um, I remember talking about this briefly on my YouTube channel a couple years ago, like I said, when I was like 18 years old, I'm not sure if I talked about it when I was like 16. It was around one of those ages I mentioned it. When I was 16, I had to have surgery on my breast. Actually, I did mention this. I talked about this in my um, breast augmentation video. The reason why I had to get my, well, I didn't have to, but like the reason I wanted to get um, my breast done to fix the lack of mass in there and why. So, when I was 16 years old, they found two tumors inside of each of my breasts. They found one on my left and they found one on my right. And for a while we watched them just to see if like, oh maybe she's just going through hormones, like, you know, she just started her period a couple years ago, so like for all we know, maybe like, it's something that's just gonna like come and go, so like, let's just watch it. But as we watched it, the masses kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And they told me like, okay, we can either leave them in there and you could just have them there because these ones are benign. These ones aren't cancerous. So we could just leave them in there. And 
you know, I didn't want to do that. I was like a 16 year old girl, like you're insecure about literally every little thing in your body. Like you're going through all these changes. I just definitely did not want to have those in there. And then possibly they got bigger and bigger and you know, like it just got worse or something. I didn't want to have that in my body. So we agreed to go in surgery. And when I was 16, I had to go through, like I said, surgery to get those removed. And at 18 years old, here we go again. Um, on the right side of my breast, they found these like gigantic ones in there. So I was like, okay, great. Here we go again. Like, why do I have to keep dealing with this? Like, and there are like a couple women in my family, I believe, that have had breast cancer. So my doctor knows this. And they asked me like, hey, like, do you want to do like the test that tells you like your risk of breast cancer when you're older? Like doing this test will literally tell you like, you know, your, how high of a chance it is that, you know, you might have it when you're, you know, possibly in your like 30s or 40s. Cause you know, it's really rare to have it in your 20s. But unfortunately there are a lot of women that, or not a lot of women, there are like the few women that do end up getting breast cancer in their 20s. So, I sorry, I'm like so out of breath. Like I, I can't. Like you guys know how I can usually like talk a million miles an hour, but these days I cannot. Like I, I run out of breath so easily. But um, so we had surgery again, and they told me, okay, these ones are a lot bigger than the last ones, so it's a little bit more concerning, and we're not really sure like why you're having these but like we can just remove them and then just be careful or whatever. And by the way, like I did not taking that test at 18 years old. I did not want to know like my fate. <laughs> like I didn't want to know cause they told me they're like, Oh, cause like if it comes back positive, then we can do, you know, a full mastectomy. Is, a, is that what it's called when they remove your breast completely? And I was like, no, I don't want to know that like that's so scary I just knew like I don't want to know what's gonna happen to me like I just want to see like let's just like just do the surgery and whatever happens happens you know like you can't really decide your destiny or your fate like whatever happens to you happens and I didn't want to walk around knowing like what might happen to me so the surgery everything was good I mean, I was, I had like half a boob, so I was like, okay, when I get older, I'm getting my breasts done. Like, I don't want to have to like see this. Like, I don't want to have to wake up every day and be insecure. And I send kudos to all the women that do end up having to get mastectomies and, you know, they just fight and they, they just, they deal with it. Like, they're so strong for that, but I wasn't that strong. So I just knew like, I, I'm going to need to get this surgery done because I just feel really freaking insecure um about it so i ended up getting my breasts done this was august of 2019 as you guys know i documented the whole like journey all of that and as you can see my hair oh child my hair is falling out again like every it's like literally like one second my hair is growing the next second my hair is literally falling out here i go happy 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 like this pregnancy hasn't been as joyful as i thought it would be like this is supposed to be a time when you are stress free but it seems like everybody is testing me like it seems like everyone is trying to be negative not everybody but like it seems like there's like several people that have just been trying to like attack my spirit if that's like a good way to put it and i don't do anything to people like last time i had any sort of real issue with somebody was me and Chandler and that was in like 2016 2017 which by the way I know some people noticed that me and her followed each other back on Instagram um we're not like best friends so like don't get that you know idea but me and her have you know come to a place where we were able to talk about you know a lot of stuff from the past and you know just talk about like why things went the way it did like we were obviously like young we were caught up in like the social media stuff we were you know just in all of that and it was a it was a rocky time i believe that people can change but at the same time like i have my guard up i'm not about to like you know put myself into a situation that i don't think is going to 
be healthy for me you know what i mean but like we're cool or whatever I knew that like i didn't want to hold that kind of like negativity in my heart so like we spoke about it like me and her or whatever like we're good but like that was the last time i had any sort of like real problem with someone except for like i guess my ex but like that was really just like i mean child he was like he tried to like take advantage of me like he was it was not a good situation like i stand by that like me and him have obviously already talked to like a while ago about everything and like just to get closure because this person continuously kept making videos about me and kept like talking and mentioning me and like acting like i completely ruined their life and really like that's giving sociopath that's giving narcissist so i was like okay like don't blame me for everything now sweetie <laughs> like i didn't like i was just trying to be a good girlfriend <laughs> but like Somehow, it's like when you're, you know, things happen. So, that was really it. But I feel like people, when they get access to me, they know that, like, I react off of emotion a lot. And I'll just, like, make a video defending myself or I'll just, you know, jump to online. But, like, I don't do that anymore. Like, I'm not going to let you, like, try to come up with some random BS, come up with a whole story thinking that, like, we're going to go back and forth because, like, that's not about to happen. Like, I am 24 years old. You knew me when I was, like, 21 or 20. Like, why are you, like, acting like... I don't know. People are... People are strange. I really just don't even, like... So I try not to even, like, entertain that stuff. I don't let that really get to me, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Because, like, what is getting to me? Like, the only thing is, like, it's annoying that people come up with stuff. And they try to run with it. And it... You know, there's people out there that believe literally anything they see online. So they're like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. which is fucking stupid. Because like, imagine like, put yourself in my shoes. Somebody who like, built something for themselves. And now, somebody that barely had access to you for a couple of months. And you cut them out. For like, safety reasons. Literal safety reasons. And now they're like, trying to come back years later to like, make you seem bad when you didn't even fucking do anything. That is scary. <laughs> Obviously, I feel like some people just like act a certain way because they're hurting, you know? So I just try to take that as a benefit of the doubt. But like I said, this pregnancy has not been easy for me. It just seems like it's been nothing but like one thing after another of people trying to like start stuff with me online or start stuff with me, you know, in real life. But I went to an appointment um, an OBGYN appointment like I switched doctors because I wasn't really happy with the last one that I went to so I switched new doctors had to go get a pap smear oh my gosh traumatic <laughs> um, had to get like the baby checked and everything I have like another ult my last ultrasound I believe they said is like on the 25th so I'm excited about that we're gonna look at the baby's heart the lungs all that but they checked me down there everything looks good like so far everything is great as far as the child but then they asked me, they said, we noticed on your chart that you wrote down breast surgery. So we decided that every, you know, appointment that you come and see us, because I'm going to be seeing them every four weeks. And then after that, it's like every two weeks and every week or something throughout my pregnancy. They're like, we're going to start doing like a breast examination every single time just to make sure that, you know, nothing is wrong. Make sure everything, you know, with you is good. So as the doctors, you know, like feeling around and like checking me out, they're like, did you notice that you have a large mass in your right breast? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what do you mean? So, basically, there's, once again, another one. Another something in there. And they're like, we don't want to, you know, be negative. We don't want to, like, assume that it's anything. Like, when you go and get your ultrasound, like, they have, like, all the, like, better equipment at this other office, which I'm going to, like, a different one. So, like, we're going to, like, make sure everything, like, is okay. And we're going to watch it. But the other ones in the past were, like, attached to, like, my chest wall. So, like, they couldn't move. And, like, they were just kind of, like, there. They didn't hurt. But this time, um... This time, this one is not attached. It's just kind of like floating in there. And this one is painful. Um, and then like, just on top of that, like, my hair falling out and like feeling ill. Cause like at this point in my pregnancy, like I don't have um, morning sickness. I don't have like any of those problems anymore. Like I'm pretty good as far as that. 
this one is not like I like I'm at the point of my pregnancy where like I'm just supposed to like basically be chilling, you know, but like I'm having like the most random symptoms um, And it's It's scary. Um, so I don't know like exactly What it is. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know Cause like I said the last ones like they weren't concerned or anything. They were just like oh like it's probably it could be a swollen lymph node or it could be this or it could be that like let's just take them out but this time the doctor's like okay we need to like watch this one like we need to really like watch this um but like now like all of a sudden it's like within the past couple of weeks this like giant like literally like this big like just showed up on my right side and He's like, do you think, he was talking to the other nurse, he's like, do you think it could possibly be scar tissue from her surgery? And he's like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like that. <sighs> so, I don't know what it is, but it's like, how come every, literally, like, every, like, two to four years, like, am I going to have to keep having surgery to, like, have these things removed? Like, what could it possibly be? Like, what is causing these things, like, in my body? Because, like, as I, like, feel it, like, I check on it, like, every single day, and it feels like it's actually getting bigger and bigger, and I'm going to talk to my doctor about it next time I go in, um, this upcoming week, but, it's like, dude, he, like, he said, he's like, you're too young to have breast cancer, and, like, He's like, you're too young. Like, I don't want it to be that. Like, I don't want to say it's it's possibly that. But like, like it's just all the like. <sighs> you know what like hurts like worse than like all of this is that I know that there's people that like prey on my downfall all the time because like anytime somebody like talks negative about me or like anytime somebody like tries to open their mouth and try to make me look bad for whatever reason like people automatically believe it and that just like makes me think that like damn there's really people out there that don't like me for no reason and I feel like there's gonna be people that watch this video and they're gonna be like hey hey or like that's what she gets like you know what you know what I mean like and that just like hurts so much knowing that there's people out there that are probably literally like praying that like bad shit happens to me and it's like i don't even know like this video was gonna be me trying to do like a whole fox eye makeup look and i just know that like i'm not gonna be able to put makeup on my inner tear ducts and it's just gonna like melt off so like i just gave up on that idea i'm sorry that like i do the same freaking like smoky eyes all the time i'm not a beauty guru i never claim to be one <laughs> It just hurts knowing that there's like people out there like with ill wishes against me and I know that they're like watching this video like probably like oh that's what you get like ha ha bitch but it's like I really haven't done anything to make people hate me like all I've ever done was like stand up for myself maybe I was a little bit dramatic when I was like 18 or 19 which like a lot of us were but it's like it hurts that people hold on to that shit like five years later and it's like how can you not let that go how can you not see that people can grow up like i'm not a teenager anymore <laughs> like i don't know i'm just so scared for the day like i i pray to god that that doesn't happen but i just like i'm so scared that like what if like my child goes through like what i'm going through because it could happen to men or women um and it's just like I just get so scared. I'm like, I really hope I don't like pass on this genetic and like, like I'm like, you know, I'm gonna feel so guilty. It has been a roller coaster of a week. My gender reveal was supposed to be on Sunday, and then we had to push it to Monday, and then we didn't end up doing it at all because like on Monday I had that really really bad or not really really bad, but like I had that appointment and it went bad. So I just kind of like shut down like i was just not like feeling like you know like i at first i was like you know what maybe i could just get ready and i could just like try to push through it and like act like everything is okay but like it everything was not okay like i did not feel like i could you know be happy 
in that moment and pretend that like oh like we're all good like everything's happy because like i wear stress so well on my face like i'm that kind of person that like in the past i've been able to you know like hide it but now more so like you can tell when like something's not okay with me. It's supposed to be a happy moment for both, you know, me and Anthony and like our family and stuff. And I just didn't want to, more so his family, which I'll get into that just a tiny bit. But like, I just didn't want it to be like remembered in like that negative way. Because of like COVID and all that. So I just kind of had to like deal with it by myself. I feel like I would have like dealt with it a lot better if like Anthony, um, was there with me but like unfortunately he couldn't so like as soon as i walked out like the front desk lady was like how'd your appointment go and i was like great <laughs> like it went perfect and as i like get in my car i'm just like Ugh! like breaking down <laughs> like, one thing after another like why can't i just like like i know life isn't meant to be easy and we're supposed to go through things and they're gonna make you stronger but like why can't life just be like a piece of cake like just at least for like a year or like at least for like six months like can it just like can I literally just get like a little bit of a break? So far like they said the baby is okay, but like we don't know as far as like the baby's lungs, the heart, all that stuff. Cause like you can only see so much in an ult like a regular ultrasound. So we're going to like this place where Anthony can actually go with me at this like, it's like an actual doctor's office. It's not one of those like little like places you pay $40. Like this is a real doctor's office that my doctor referred me to. And on the phone they're like, at this appointment you can actually um bring your partner in just one person just your partner can come so i was like okay perfect so like he can actually come and see like the baby from like you know an even better ultrasound and like we could hear everything together and like you know all that so i'm looking forward to that and finding out more about this and i'll definitely like keep you guys in the loop with everything of like constantly dealing with something and it's like people are always 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 like it's always something you know what I mean? Like, like for one thing, like this one kid, y'all, like, child, this one kid was a subscriber, right? Which I thought like, oh, like it was all positive and all that. This kid was a whole subscriber and because I didn't respond to them and because, you know, you know, wow, stutter. I ended up doing this like Instagram cleanup where I like took all these people off just for my own like sanity. Um, because like honestly like as somebody that deals with body dysmorphia like it's not easy to like keep seeing like this projected ideal idea of beauty and like not feeling some sort of way about yourself like oh you have to have hips and big boobs like you have to have you have to look like this to be considered like you know what I mean considered beautiful and ever since I like removed a bunch of like random accounts just took a lot of people off my you know Instagram I've actually felt a lot better and one of these people ended up being one of those people that I removed. I follow like what 60, 70 people like it has to be it's like friends or other influencers that I know and like a couple like influencers or a couple of celebrities like Lady Gaga or like Ariana Grande like those couple people that I follow that really are about like women empowerment. So I like kept those accounts on but I pretty much like took everything down and I took this person off and they like went off on me in the dms and i was like why are you so mad it's just a follow like i did it for my own like inner peace like it wasn't even like on some like petty stuff like i don't know like you watch my videos but like i don't know you and you don't know me so i didn't think it'd be such like a big deal so they were like oh my god i'm so sorry like i didn't mean to say all that but like i'm going through blah 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 i'm not gonna put their business out there and I was like, I felt sorry for them, like, even though, like, they showed their true colors of, like, how they really are, I should have, like, took that as a warning, because that's literally what they're doing again right now. Um, so I told this person, like, I'm sorry you're going through that, like, I can kind of be there for you, but I'm not gonna, like, sit here and act like, oh, I have all this time, because this is when I was dealing with, like, I had to move into that hotel, because I was trying to, like, sort all this stuff with my house, and that was, like, an everyday thing, and I was also going through, like, the beginning of my pregnancy, which was the absolute worst time ever. I was sick all the time, so my, one of my friends actually, like, reached, like, me and my friend talked about it, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, I have this person that, like, I just kind of, like, DM here and there, uh, and they were like, oh, like, 
what are they into? And I was like, oh, I know they play video games and all that stuff. Like, maybe I should connect you guys so you could talk. And like immediately, like my friend, like after a couple times talking to this person, they were very uncomfortable and they just got like a really weird vibe from them. And they told me about it. And you know, this person shared their, like the same stuff that they shared with me, they shared with my friend. And my friend was like, oh, did they tell you about this? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, they actually did. Like, he didn't say like exactly, oh, did they tell you blah, 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 blah. They said like, oh, did they tell you about like their situation? I was like, okay, yeah, they did. And they're like, then how come like this happened? How come like while talking to them on the phone or like on um, like a party on Xbox, like I heard this in the background and it just made everything seem invalid of what they were trying to, you know, talk about. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. And I don't have time for people to lie to me. I don't have time for people to play with my emotions and play with my feelings to like try to get close to me because I've had people do that in the past and I just don't have time for that. And I only had this person in my life for maybe a week, maybe if even that. So I was like, okay, I told them, I was like, a lot of stuff ain't adding up. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna unfollow again. I'm just gonna distance myself. I don't have time for like, any of this and they started accusing me of like sharing their business with the entire world and like all this stuff and i was like what are you talking about and then this person proceeded to start making tons of accounts harassing me in the background through dm coming into all my live streams like saying she's not who you think she is she's this terrible person i'm just like dude I don't even know, like, I don't even know what you look like. This was an account that didn't have a face to it. So it's like, I don't even know what you look like. Like, I don't know you. Like, I just know what you told me and things felt inconsistent, which is a reason why I stopped being friends with someone else in the past. So I just distanced myself as any person could and should. Like, I didn't know people were entitled to be in each other's lives, you know what I mean? So I was just like, bro, like, I'm sorry you're if you are really going through what you're going through, but like just everything that I've been hearing and seeing like just doesn't add up. And plus it's not like I have time to like sit here and like take on anybody else's like baggage when I'm dealing with so much of my own. So I just kind of like stepped away from them. But like I said, they continuously kept making accounts and harassing me online. So recently like this person kept doing it again. Like they disappeared for a couple of months and they came back again. Um, messaging Anthony, sending things to my family, sending things to my friends, going on Twitter, making all these different accounts, like trying to like message me all this stuff. Like you're fake, you fabricate things. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, why are you so mad that I unfollowed you? And I decided I didn't want to pursue this friendship that was only a couple of days. They proceeded to DM Chandler, DMing all these people. Like, I have a story to tell you. Like. Vanessa crossed me so bad. It's like, I don't know you. And that is so scary to me that there's people out there in this world that feel so entitled to have you in their life that they like will go to this extent because for what? Literally for what? So I've been dealing with this person like constantly harassing me and like sending me stuff through random accounts for like months now and it's like dude leave me alone like i'm trying to enjoy my pregnancy if it's not this person this is a man by the way it's like i'm dealing with this person constantly harassing me online like to the point of where i'm actually considering like legal action right now and i'm sure they're watching this right now yes i am considering legal action against you like restraining order, taking you to court so you can actually leave me alone. Cause I already tried to like file it through Twitter. I said, this person keeps harassing me and Twitter was like, I'm sorry, we can't do anything about it. Like we didn't see any threats, but this person has been like really doing the most. And I'm sure some of my girlies that follow me on Twitter have seen it. And they're like, they were like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, why are you like so mad for no reason? Like it's, cause I already explained this story on my um, Instagram. I don't know you. Like literally it's been a couple days that I knew you like it's, I don't I don't even know what you look I I don't know I'm also dealing with some of my family and like I'm in like This weird place where I try to reach out to several people in my family to talk about like the stuff that I went through as a child um, Including like my only sibling my mother my father I was talking to everybody about it because I want that closure I want to move on and not have that 
And as soon as I like opened my mouth saying that I wanted to, you know, talk to them about it, everyone attacked me. Literally like everyone attacked me and it's like nobody took accountability for anything, which is what I've been trying to get for years. And I'm at that point where like I decided I'm actually going to distance myself and like I'm just done. I feel safe with Anthony's family. They made me like every time I like see them, every time every time I've like spent time with them, they've always just made me feel so loved and just feel so welcomed and like just seeing their family dynamic. It's like I've always wanted that. Sorry, I'm crying again. I'm pregnant. <laughs> but it's like I've always wanted that. Like that's all I've been asking for. Like to feel loved and to not feel like crazy you know what i mean like it's like white like like i'm just done with like everybody at this point like as far as like my family and it's so unfortunate like i love my grandmother and it's so sad that me and her haven't had a relationship for years because of something because of one person in my family coming up with a bunch of lies and putting things in my head saying oh this person said she said this about you she said this about you she hates you like she wants you dead like and it's like this was the only person in my family that i trusted talking to like my like and it's like no one ever admitted to anything and it's always been like well i mean if you didn't go through what you went through you wouldn't be here today like, you wouldn't be as successful, blah, 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 blah. Like, so I didn't know, like, getting my ass beat or getting choked out equivalated to, oh, yeah, you, if you didn't get choked out as a kid, like, you wouldn't be big on YouTube. Bitch, what? That conversation, like, did, just did not sit well with me and, like, trying to talk to my only sibling about it and them turning on me like this person like i have tried to be nice i have tried to reach out i send gifts i try to be like and not once not a single single time has this person ever tried to see how i was doing but anytime i reach out to them it's always like why haven't you reached out enough you don't do enough you let ev you let youtube change you you let money change you what are you talking about like what like, and then this person proceeds to like message me like change your last name like you're not part of the family anymore It's like damn all I wanted to do is have everyone be honest about how things were But instead it always gets flipped on me Every single time so I decided I am now an only child who Bitch I I'm adopted <laughs> like, I don't I don't I don't, I don't want anything to do with anybody. And that's just so sad. But at the same time, like my child is not going to suffer because they're going to have two parents that love them to death, that would never lay a finger on them. Because I believe in sitting your child down and talking to them. They are not animals, which even animals, if you're over here beating the fuck out of your dog, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. But like, you can talk to your child and they will earn they will have that respect for you that you were able to you know help them understand their emotions their feelings instead of beating them up or abusing them physically emotionally like giving them i didn't i wasn't born with anxiety i was given anxiety i don't want my kid to be in an environment where like i know that because like i remember they would say things like oh like whenever you have your kid if they disrespect me they will get popped if i found that out my kid came home after like spending time with their family and so like oh like this person hit me or this person did this to me we're gonna have some big big problems big big problems so i realized i'm 24 years old i'm gonna be 25 this year i live in a whole nother state these people don't know where I live. They're, they don't have access to me and they're not going to have access to me because for the own sake of my like energy and my well-being, I'm tired of chasing. And I'm sharing this because I'm sure a lot of people go through or are going through similar things of like, you just want people to give you that closure. And there just comes a point in time where like, you're just not going to get it, baby. You're not going to get it. Because when all these people have this idea in their head, in their own little bubble, that like you're the problem when you didn't do nothing but want to be loved and treated right, you gotta just let it go and move on. And that's why I'm gonna build my own family with my child and my partner. And we're going to be fine. 
so i'm sure some people are watching this video some of my family members and they're probably like oh really that's how you feel and you know what that's i told you that's how i feel and i've been telling you that's how i feel and i don't know how many times i have to keep telling you that's how i feel without you trying to deny it and make me seem like it was my fault so life has just been a roller coaster i shouldn't be dealing with so much stress while being pregnant and you would think that people would take that into consideration but it's like it's like they don't <laughs> i told you guys on like all my platforms that i was gonna make a video about my childhood and my like stuff that i went through and i love how all of them said like oh you want to make us look bad on the internet you want to make us look bad like you want you just want to like get that revenge it's not revenge it's called i have a lot of men and women children teenagers that watch my videos that are going through the same thing and they think that they're the reason that they deserve it and that's not okay that's not okay to go through life like that i'm so glad that i have you guys because like without you guys i wouldn't have been able to get out of that situation and i'm so glad and so grateful every single day that I have you all here because like I said, like not only are you support, but it's like I never would have been able to escape that home or escape that like place. People ask me all the time and I think people, and people use this against me. They're like, why is she always moving? Why is she always moving? She's running from something. I am, I'm running from my past and it has nothing to do with like, oh, YouTube drama. People are like, oh, she's running away because she doesn't have friends or because like everyone hates her. People ran her out. When you realize that it's actually deeper than that and it's like emotional damage and it has to- it, Bitch, I don't give a fuck about a YouTube drama. I moved to Vegas and someone who I had my biggest YouTube beef with came from here. Like, like am I like running? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not running from anything involving YouTube. It's like I'm just trying to be comfortable and find stability and feel safe in an area away from all that trauma that i dealt with as a child and as a teenager and even as a young adult like it's like an ongoing thing you know and now i'm over here in nevada and i'm just gonna stay here like if anything maybe i'll like move to like another country one day if like i could afford it like this was kind of like a venting video i feel like sagittarius shoddy right now how she films like 50 minute videos and just like rants about her life but like that's literally how i feel right now like I just have to get all this out. I, I just have to get this all out. And like, this is the last time I'm gonna like talk about that stuff because I, I just wanna move on. Like even if I wasn't pregnant, I've been on this journey of trying to reach that closure for such a long time. And <sighs> thank you for just being here and listening because yes i have friends i don't know why people act like oh this girl doesn't have friends i have two best friends that i trust everything with and then several other like friends like a couple influencers like other people that i do love and trust so like i don't want anyone to get the idea of like she doesn't have anybody i do i have a really good support system around me it's just i know that other people go through this stuff so it like feels good to like just hear other people talk about it sometimes if that makes sense you know what i mean but that's it for today's video. Um, I feel like I have more to talk about, but this video is so long. So I'm going to come back in a couple days and like talk some more with you guys. Feel free to leave things in the comments. If you want me to talk about any certain topics or get into anything, like I totally can. Um, just leave it down below. I read all of my comments. And thank you for being there. Like, oh, you guys really did save my life and you have no idea. But I'll see you guys all in my next video.